I got a question for you. Would you rather be rich or famous? Well, I can rich. guarantee you this person right here probably regrets the hell out of the fame that she has now. She sent my mom my fansly and a picture of me doing... A picture of me sucking a fucking dildo. I said it. She sent her a picture of me sucking a dildo. Oh my God. This has to be a OF fans leak work content creators nightmare is that this content gets to their family honestly this is probably why if you were actually genuinely proud as to what you were doing you would probably let them know beforehand that this is what i am doing on the internet let's have a discussion i've seen content creators in that ol sphere talk about yeah, how bro. they sat down with their parents and talked to them beforehand and i gotta give them a round of applause and god that i feel is like this is bound to, to happen loud. though i do this is the reality of these situations is that this content could get to them without their knowing before beforehand and they're going to be so caught off guard that you can't be the one to control the narrative in the situation it, it's my fault because she's saying my cousins were looking up my pictures like my male older cousins they were looking me up and i said why the fuck aren't we asking them why the fuck they're looking at me why is it always me why the fuck is it always me why is everyone saying like oh it's me well it's you 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 <laughs> because you're the one getting naked on the internet I yeah think this i was about to say she's trying to blame her cousins <laughs> cousins it's you bro you're the one who's doing this shit People lack of accountability she's trying to spin this narrative that her cousins are weird for looking her up and we should be putting the blame on them but to be honest with you no and you can do no work all you want but it seems like you are not proud as to what you're doing and i thought that was the whole point of this liberated sex work of movement i follow my cousins on social media all day and all night if they were doing some weird stuff it is the family scuttlebutt that's just how it is yeah she's that's trying true to make it more perverse than what it is her cousins weren't taking her material and getting the astro glide and whacking it off you that's know, double fist in the glick or whatever they weren't sending it to their homeboys to say damn my cousin got a fat ass with some big titties they sent it to the family because they were in such disbelief and shock that their cousin was doing something like this this that's is true. strawberry tabby she's one of those twitch streamers oh i was about to say i see her bro i'm not gonna lie to you i see her on twitch um i see her sometimes like on while I'm scrolling through Twitch, and this she always puts oil on her chest. Her chest is always shining. So I'm like, yeah, you want people to do this, and then your family finds out, and now you're mad. It's like, how could they not find out, bro? That's whole niche is to stretch the limits and bounds as to what TOS has to offer, and then ultimately funnel people in and push people into their OF or their fansly content. Hold your baby properly and make sure that there's enough milk coming out so your baby is satisfied. And without further ado, we should get right into the video. Now, when you're doing this type of content for a living, obviously it's going to have some backlash ramifications, especially if you're close to your family. And I'm not going to Now, lie. imagine These those being oiled up should not and you're just scrolling through Twitch and you just see all. that. Clearly, you have some sort of reservations or pauses or some sort of embarrassment that you are doing this or have to do this in order to make some sort of money. This is not the life for you. Any sort of sex work, any sort of OF content comes with inherent risk that you have to take, whether it be on your physical or your mental. And I'm not saying that these things should happen, but they do happen and somebody that's as weak as this who would complain or cry or get upset that the content gets back to their family shouldn't be doing this content at all especially because you have videos out there with the biggest streamer on youtube doing outrageous content like this oh, oh no <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, is that the same girl? When a man a woman, can't keep his mind on. Is that bro, her? Dancing. The fuck, bro? Relax, bro. I'm traumatized. You're a fucking whale. I want any. He said you're a whale. Is crazy. Oh, that is her. Oh my gosh, bro. Listen, you do the crossover with the younger audience to get that demographic to come to your platform with I Show Speed, who definitely has a larger kid audience. It's no wonder why your little cousins are finding your content. And the conversation That's on the internet has been, is it weird that her younger cousins are looking up this type of content? I honestly don't think so. Maybe, maybe not, but I don't think so either because I like low key, her cousins probably was trying to find her like social media. And obviously in her social media, she's going to have the link to her fansly. So they were probably going through and was like, what the heck's a fansly? Or maybe they knew what a fansly was and then just clicked on it to 
curiosity killed a cat, bro. But the reason why they are even doing this is probably because, like we've talked about on this channel, people have been bullying these kids in class saying, yo, isn't that Tabby, your cousin, who is on I Show Speed? This, isn't this her IG with the link in the bio? Mm -hmm. Oh, I took my mommy's that credit too. card. Aren't these Tabby's bare breast? She's taking away their lived experience by saying it's always her, her, her. When no, I believe that your last name is a representation of everybody. So when you do those things and people have been bringing it up to your younger cousins because you're on I Show Speed stream doing this, been bringing it up to your sister because you've been on the internet doing this they also have to live with those sorts of consequences for mm -hmm. your actions and your, the difference your fucking is cousin they don't is an make the model. you make on OnlyFans so they're getting called Mr. Pink for no reason this but guy. I don't think that a lot of oh, content fuck. creators recognize that there so is a price of fame and she didn't even feel like and she didn't even sound like she gave a fuck that this nigga was getting bullied once you get into making the content and the other party involved in that last clip is somebody else that we should talk about because Speed has a lot of problems with his brother Jamal I show Speed has become a worldwide phenomenon and his brother has been living the life because of it when i say the life there's two parts of that life of course he can start his own content creation endeavors and have a massive leg up on a lot of the competition but after getting basically gifted 80k subs from speed and kai which is like a crazy leg up that he has jamal ran into this issue where he found that it is much harder than he anticipated to be one of the best content creators that he could be or hell even a competent content creator i'm so angry of YouTube and stuff, thank you for the gift. I'm so angry of YouTube stuff that I want to quit forever. I want to stop being on speed streams. I'm generally going to stop being on speed streams. Y'all not going to see me on any other streams. You're not even going to see me on my dad's vlogs, his live streams, my brother's live streams, his vlogs, his YouTube stuff, anybody's stuff. I'm not going to be on no one YouTube, no nothing, bro. And I'm quitting this, bro. It's not for everyone. And y'all still saying cat, bro. Y'all still saying cat. Like, bro, this is why. See, this is why I don't stream. This is why I don't stream. Y'all can't support a real creator. I don't even think, look, y'all just don't like, for all the people who saying this, bro, like, bro, see, this is why. See, look, this is why I'm quitting right now. I'm quitting, bro. I'm about to, I might just delete my channel after this, bro. Like, honestly, this jump is making me angry day by day. Because y'all just saying cat, cat, all this stuff. April Fools. Is it April? It's not April, bro. I'm being dead for real, bro. Damn. Damn for real. And y'all think I'm still capping? Yeah. Y'all ain't gonna see me on no more videos. No more nothing, bro. And I think there's a lot of ways that you can look at this situation, but one of the more underrated ways to it's look at this for is everybody, that there bro. is so much pressure that comes with being from I Show Speed's brother. Not necessarily because there's this pressure to live up to the height of I Show Speed, but because Speed does some outrageous content. And there's not a level of normality that can exist any longer because you are I Show Speed's brother. So all the things that you used to do with him, being that sibling who just went on vacations or played outside, no longer exists because of the type of content that Speed makes and the level of fame that he has achieved. I wanna be, let's say I want to be a regular kid. I want to be a regular kid. I want to do stuff without a famous brother. Let's say that. I want to do my own stuff. I want to have my brother be the main center of attention. Like, every time I go to school. How speed. speed yeah. Yada, yada, yada. That junk. Like, it, it, it ticks me off. It, it ticks me off. He's not his own person. But He's like, living in the shadow. I, I get it. I'm a kid without a, you know, famous brother. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably don't know. I kind of want to hop off speed streams for like 80, not 80 years, but like, you know, for like at least three years and see how it is. I want to cut contact with everybody over there and just be myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to Bro, throwing say, cards like, at the wall? Take a break off of speed streams. Take a break off of like... Bro's in a box. And start, you know... Worrying about myself, you know what I'm saying? You see, it's kind of hard living in that person's shadow. And I can kind of attest to this based off of my brother and who he is in the content creation lane, but it can be hard to establish yourself oh, hold on. based off of my brother. I didn't know this, these niggas were related. That's crazy. Niggas related to Low? who he is in the content creation lane but it can be hard to establish yourself or live some level i didn't know they were related based off of who your family members are and content is 24 7 it's a constant cycle i mean that obviously seeing them next to each other i can see it but i just I, wow a lot of the people around you there is no escaping the actions that your brother sister cousins parents or even relationships or couples there's no way to escape the actions that the other parties involved in these things do when it's posted on the internet now because content 
content creation is something that a lot of people want to get into it makes sense why you would want to possibly still be involved with it even if you have a successful brother and you may be able to go about doing it in the same ways that john david washington did you know son of denzel washington but ultimately mm -hmm. it still may not prove to be beneficial and because content creation is so big people that are also a part of these parties but not the main character you know the center of attention as i show speed's brother jamal mentioned may still want to get involved in it but it's going to be very hard and you got to try to separate yourself kind of like Bronny james when he switched his oh, name boy. from lebron james jr to Bronny james but ultimately as we've seen in this year's draft and you know going <laughs> forward it still seems like you will always live in their shadow now me personally i think i've been able to do some sort of decent enough job that people don't know that me and my brother have the connection that we have even though we are on content together quite often hell i know that for a fact i will still get comments underneath this comment section that say hey i, I didn't know you were lowe's brother yes <laughs> I'm the one who said it. <laughs> fucking crazy low from playback yes i am his brother I can only imagine what it would be like if i was kai sanat's brother or i show speed's brother or any of the biggest content creators in the world siblings or friends or cousins that are also trying to do this while getting the allegations of being somebody who is a coattail rider or a clout chaser but i have to commend speed because he is at least keeping his brother involved in the content because he can and this is a price of fame that a lot of the famous people don't like to look at before they get into it is that you're gonna have to make those sacrifices going down down the line where you won't yeah. be able to see your family you won't be able to see your brothers you won't be able to see your sisters and it will affect your emotions heavily because they'll yep. blame you like and they'll be like oh we're distant now or whatever my sisters miss me so bad we was just getting into it because it's like it do be hard to like maintain a relationship with somebody you grew up with and then try to like travel the whole world and like please so many other people and it's like you still got to pay attention to them so it's a lot you know but i'm trying to deal with it yeah shout out my sisters i miss them I mean, I know all about it. I mean, I left my home country when I was much younger. And yeah. I, I think that it is, a, there's no other way to put it. I don't mean to scare you or whatever, but ultimately following your dreams, is a, there is a sacrifice that comes with that. Yeah. And I think the family thing is the ultimate sacrifice when you yeah, leave the people a, behind that you effect. love. And you just don't, they'll always going to be there, but you just don't get all that time. And it's sad because they'll blame you like, and they'll be like, oh, we're distant now or whatever. And it's like, I don't mean to be. It's just like, I can't be in another country and also be as close to you as I was when we was five yeah, yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah. Be so it's all love at the end of the day i, I appreciate saying. that they even miss me you know because some people siblings don't care about them <laughs> I know, it so. breaks my heart now it's definitely sad because ice spice and some other content creators have talked about the sacrifices that they've had to make in regards to family quite often and it's ultimately a necessary evil but that doesn't mean that the journey becomes any easier just because you have to do it if anything it can become harder and sometimes it can make you even think if this is all worth it and cause you to have some sort of mental breakdown like amp chris did when he was doing his subathon recently to go through the wukong gang but he was definitely missing his mom in this situation now it's definitely sad because Ice Spice and some other content creators have talked about the sacrifices that they've had to make in mm -hmm. regards to family quite often in their journey to success. And it's a necessary evil, <laughs> but it's sad. something that you have to do. And the reason why I feel for Chris a lot is because this isn't even necessarily the life that he chose. He started off as the AMP editor and grew to being an on-camera personality, but now this whole streaming game, this new content lane that they've discovered has had him be peer pressured by fans and people that love the group to become one of these people. But from the Chris that I know, he likes to make movies which can be taken over long periods of time which mm -hmm. means that he'll be able to still have some sort of balance between work and life but when you get into the whole streaming game there is no way that you can adequately balance those two and still grow a platform like chris is on the journey of growing and ultimately this is a price of fame that it's nobody talks about because it is something that is just supposed to be a shut up and dance type situation hey nobody told you to stream you can always cut it off but no it's harder than what it looks like i think mm -hmm. another price of fame that people don't talk about is ultimately there's going to be a point where you lose yourself in the content and with the newfound status that you have you'll face a set of unique challenges that honestly only a certain number of people can deal with kind of like the chris situation in which we were talking about in the rest of chris's breakdown he talks about having constant scrutiny and constant opinions being thrown on him from these parts of the internet and honestly a lot of people aren't there to sympathize him or care to see what he's saying because hey you make a shit ton of money but at the end of the day he is still a real human who mm -hmm. still has 
has real emotions. Now, there is mm-hmm. a conversation that some of these Hate content shit, creators bro. have brought some of these things onto themselves. I don't know how you would bring like your mother being stalked upon yourself, but the audience that you do cultivate can play a part into some of these actions and behaviors. Casey Neistat's examples of him hanging out with people in public seems to be a much different interaction than, I don't know, I show speed going out there in public. But at the end of the day, none of this is a justification for some of the links that people go to in order to do crazy things or emotional damages that these content creators have to suffer as they are famous. None of it is a justification. And there's also the portion of losing yourself, your authentic self in these situations where you grow. A lot of people come around these content creators, form some sort of parasocial relationship with them because they feel like they're being their authentic selves. But what happens far often than not is the fact that once you grow, things start to become way more corporate. Hell, there might even be an argument that streaming is becoming more corporate. There's a mass appeal a bit. to this when you go the corporate route, when you button up, when you polish up. However, that core fan base can turn off so quickly based off of the actions that you do take in your road to success. People like to look yeah, at bro. AMP for an example of this. This is not me making any sort of criticism or an indictment on AMP. They have reached new heights and new limits and levels that nobody could think of. However, there has been this sentiment that continues to grow that says these guys are so much different than what they started off as. It's honestly a turn off. Now, this could be the natural progression. Hell, LeBron had to get a jump shot at one point in time. You know, couldn't <laughs> stay going to the rim. He's 40 years old. But this does still rub some people the wrong way. And it's just something that you're going to have to live with. And with you changing yourself over time as your content starts to change and you start. I think that's that's the part that sucks, though, because a lot of people like in real life will change over time. But as a content creator, you like a lot of people feel like they have to be stuck in a box and be the same person they were when they started because you can't change or some shit like i don't know how to explain it bro to grow as an individual those people who were there with you from the beginning that saw you at this certain level will change on you as well i saw recently that duke dennis was now being called ugly because he did a <laughs> i saw that shit bro I, I, I saw this shit, bro. The way they turned on him is crazy because of his eyebrows. Speedy. And I thought it was a little bit hilarious because Duke has literally had the same face for the longest of times. It's just that these weirdos on the internet now are doing some sort of micro analyzing of who he is or what he looks like. But when we talk about really Insane. turning on Duke Dennis, there was one woman who blessed the internet with this marvelous piece of content to show how miserable of a person she is. She had these high expectations of Duke Dennis and turned on him when she got rejected. <laughs> In a, in a story every day but i also like and i'm sorry i didn't acknowledge it either but god damn nigga. damn <sighs> okay god, okay okay i'm not finna god damn that's od bro but um like i said like and this is no hate to her i still think she's like you know what i'm saying a beautiful woman but like just because I didn't respond and shit, you can't go to hating me for no reason. I didn't that's, do anything to you, baby. That's true. God damn, baby. I didn't do shit to you at the end of the day. But there's a lot of people though, chat. I I've come I've come to the realization that the fuck is this nigga doing? No bullshit. A lot of people don't like me for no reason. Now the lady in question saw this video and had to clap back at Duke Dennis by responding as to what she was really reaching out to him for. And this is where she starts to paint this narrative about Duke Dennis being some sort of bad guy. There was a time when I had oh a crush boy. on Duke Dennis, but now I'm so disgusted by his character. I don't even see him as attractive. Like I don't even care to keep up with him. He doesn't matter to me anymore. He has now made it onto the list of all the black men who got a little bit of fame got a little bit of money and suddenly america stopped being shitty for them so much that they forget they're still black what just because the nigga didn't respond to you is crazy bro they're still black in america and they forget it so fucking much that they ignore more Salus Williams. They ignore the cries of so many black people. The black people who platform them, by the way. They ignore the cries of all the black people who are saying, hey, we need your voice. We need your platform to help shed light onto this so this doesn't become a trend. So, Dog, what is she talking about, bro? I'm pretty sure she was sending this nigga like thirsty comments on some shit. And now that he's not responding, she's talking about how he doesn't care about black issues. What are we talking about, bro? White people murdering black people does not become a fucking trend. It's sad to say, but I think not he's no made it mean. over to that buck broken, fucked up the ass. You know, I need my platform. I need white men to keep giving me not my no money. Vaseline. My he's one of those black 
people now. The black men who say they want to lead the community, they're leaders, they're men, you know, they don't bow to anybody because they are men. You just give them the right amount of money and suddenly they're bowing to white men, they're sucking white men's dicks. I'm genuinely leaving Duke Dennis behind because I cannot continue supporting black men with platforms, with money, who can casually ignore how shitty America still is for all black people. Simply because financially now, America is a little less shitty for them. She's ultimately saying in this situation what? that she had an assumption in her mind about who Duke Dennis was, a parasocial relationship. Yep. And now because he didn't respond to her DMs where she tried to get him to pass across a message, that that's the reason why he is now these names that she has decided to call him. Now, to me, this is an obvious I turned on you for no reason other than the expectations that I put in my mind, like some major platforms to speak on the injustices Insane. that go on in today's society. However, I don't think it's their responsibility. And quite frankly, I don't want the message for the plight of black people or people in general to come from these people who are a out of touch or too ignorant of the situation it's disingenuous it's mm -hmm. not going to come off as smart and we'll be able to see the grift a mile away now a lot of people called out this young lady for what it was and she couldn't even take accountability for the situation of course not. that she created herself in her own mind because she's super delusional y'all in my comment section harassing me and like trying to bully me and the whole time i'm actually proud of myself because listen the moment that i thought i had the attention of some Somebody who's famous, who's influential, who's a celebrity or whatever, I use that opportunity to ask for help for someone like Marcellus Williams. Or I use that opportunity to educate him on the fact that by 2053, there will be zero black wealth within the black community. I didn't take it as an opportunity to, to get money out of his pockets. I wasn't trying to get him to buy stuff. I literally thought, oh, I keep posting stuff and this influencer who has millions of followers keeps- Y'all see the stickers? I am proud of me. Yay. Yay me. I love me. Yay me. Watching it. So let me Yay take me. this opportunity to like, tell girl, you. Put the stickers back in the fucking the, the fucking crate, bro. Like what what are we doing with all these stickers on the screen? About all the ways in which he can encourage young black boys and girls. You know why? Overcompensation. Girls to go back Her to school hurt, and so she got all these damn can stickers. start a nonprofit to help pay for trade. And she can try to justify this all she wants, but to me, this is another price of fame where people will create narratives, create storylines and create things that have nothing to do with you just so they can flip on you and make you seem like you're some sort of bad guy. Should these people care about some of these things? For sure, absolutely. But is this really an indictment on them because they don't or they're not knowledgeable? No, when content creators blend this line between social activists, that's where they are susceptible to getting corrupted by money. And I'm not even saying these mm -hmm. people are corrupted by money. I just don't think it's their place at all. And I'm not gonna hold them to that standard because they don't speak about it because they can get criticized when they do speak about it. Yep. It's literally a losing Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And ultimately, so many losses compounded on top of each other can make people fall off until you end up becoming one of these crash out streamers who has let streaming Uzi. content creation or their public life literally rot them from the inside out to the point where they are screaming and pleading to their audiences about how bad their life is oh i'm fucking done i don't know why oh my god not the not the lord bro not the lord this bro boy about to smash a keyboard over his head i don't know what the deal is but i hate you guys i fucking hate you guys i hate my community i fucking hate you guys i don't know what happened i don't know what the deal is i don't know why i'm treated like I did something, like I scammed people out of fucking surgery money, or I lied to people, or I hurt people, or I cheated, or I view bought it. I've done nothing to any of you fucking suckers. I fucking hate you guys. I honestly fucking hate you guys. I fucking hate you guys. I've been through fucking hell, dude. I've been through fucking hell. Please don't I smash the keyboard over your face. I fucking did it. I did it all. I fucking did it all, and I got fucking shafted. I got fucking shafted Somebody along the said way. Somebody said cry harder, oh my god. I get treated like fucking shit by you fucking suckers i i hate doing this i fucking hate streaming and i hate my community and i hate you guys and i hate this fucking website fuck you guys fuck you guys fuck holy you guys. Shit. what i think people fail to realize in these situations holy shit situations is that content creators are just like real people they do have things that are giving them advantages don't get me wrong they have money they have fame they have opportunity these people can't realize that content creators have the same emotions as people they go through the same things and the price of fame becomes so expensive nowadays because people have so much access that it's becoming harder and harder to pay i remember when Kaisen and i did that whole giveaway and the backlash from it not necessarily from a legal perspective but the way that people treated him and his family was super disgusting it made me even consider 
consider to myself, hmm, how much longer or how much more famous do I even want to be in this game? With tinted windows mm -hmm. and a big ass camera. Kai Sinat revealed his mom has been harassed after his failed giveaway in New York City, resulting in a riot. The Twitch. The good news about content creation is like if you want to make this like your full time career, you don't have to be as famous as Kai Sinat or, or Speed to make a, like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year or hundreds of thousands a month. You just got to you just got to know how to market yourself to brands and and have a great community that backs you and stuff like that, bro. You don't need to be famous, famous like this, bro. That's the be the most beautiful part about content creation. Star recently expressed his concern with unknown people harassing his family. His mom has been specifically targeted, which has alarmed Kai, and he's pleaded with his viewers to focus the attention on him and to leave his family alone. Whatever y'all want to say about me, whatever y'all want to do, I can take it to the chin. I can handle it. You feel what I'm saying? But please, I beg y'all, bro, just leave my family out of it. There is no reason why y'all are showing up to my mom's house. And the money in the That's fame can only crazy. alleviate so many of these things. You can only solve so many problems with money. He can only move his mom so many times. He can only pay for so many breaks. He can only afford so many vacations. I know a lot of people aren't going to resonate with this video, but at the end of the day, these people do have feelings. And this should serve more as a PSA to those that look to become content creators in the future. Just know that all these things mentioned and more are the price of fame that you have to pay once you do start becoming successful in this lane, we should probably start addressing some of these sickos stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I know f I'm fully aware of this shit and I still know that I'm gonna be successful one day and I know that I'm gonna have to deal with this shit, but mentally, you just have to have a mental fortitude, bro. A strong, solid mental fortitude to get you through this shit because it is tough, bro. That mental, that mental strain, bro, it's tough, bro. But luckily I have a really good mental uh foundation bro you know what i'm saying thank god you know what i'm saying that shit is it's not easy to come by but thank god i have a, a strong mental solitude bro but yeah bro or fortitude yeah that's what i was looking for again